Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Last week, I started a new series titled Hai Yang's Practice Proverb Series, in which I discussed my first original proverb about body-hand coordination. I received a lot of support from the community and I appreciate all of your nice comments. So, as planned earlier, in today's video, I will first answer a couple of questions asked by the community members and then introduce the second proverb. Tracy Stephens asked, quote, Does the actions described in this proverb apply to all three of the internal styles? Thank you, Tracy. Let's quickly recall last week's proverb. The hands lead the power, the body chases the hand, and finally, the body sends the power. This proverb describes the subtle body mechanism in martial power generation, applied in both defense and attack situations. So, yes, it can and should be applied to all three internal styles of martial arts. Some people disagree with the notion that the hand leads the power. Please do not get confused between the words lead and generate. In most situations where the movement is executed by the hand, the hand has to lead in the direction of the martial energy and then some other body parts generate martial energy and transfer it to the hand, such as shoulder, back, hips, or lower dantian area, and so on. Even in a weeping motion, the hand still leads the direction of attack. It is especially important in a defensive situation that the hand has to move first to reach the incoming attack, or else it would be too slow and too late if the movement is initiated by the lower dantian. I fully understand the importance of the lower dantian area according to the traditional martial art practice concept, but there is another concept that Every part of the body is dantian, or zhou shen wu chu bu dantian. In other words, anywhere in the body that is used in self-defense is dantian. That's why it is important to analyze any classical proverb in the right context, or else there will be misunderstandings and misperceptions. Now, let's move on to today's proverb. It is a short text format. Kai xiong yao jian zhou kai zhang, fou ze nai xiong kai bu che di. Translation, to extend the chest, both shoulders and elbows must extend outward, or else the upper body would not be in a fully chest opening state. First, let me translate the Chinese version word by word. Kai means extending, opening. Xiong means chest. Yao means should. Jian means shoulder. Zhou means elbow. Kai means opening. Zhang means extending. Fou means if not. Ze means then. Nai means would be. Xiong means chest. Kai means open. Bu means not. Che means thoroughly. Di means complete. Put together, it means that in martial art practice, especially during Fa Jin or martial energy releasing movements, if the chest extending motion is involved, then the shoulders and the elbows need to be extended as well. Otherwise, 
the chest extending or chest opening movement won't be complete or thorough. I created this proverb based on my training and teaching experience. Very often, I have observed that the root cause of a lack of martial energy in a movement is caused by the stiffness of the upper body, especially the chest area. Then, I analyzed the cause of the stiffness of the chest area to be mainly the lack of extending motion of the shoulder and the elbows. For example, many martial art movements such as fire fist or pao xuan in xing yi five element training require that both elbows extended slightly to the side way in order to generate martial energy. Let's check out some old photos of a fire fist of Xie Dian and Sun Lu Tang. You can see the obvious extended motion of their shoulders and elbows. Now, let's check out Cheng Style's Shuang Huan Zhang, the double striking pound. You can find out the same principle is applied here as well. At this point, you may be wondering if I have even heard about a proverb in Chinese internal martial art dealing with the shoulder and the elbow called Chui Jian Zhui Rou or sing the shoulder and drop the elbow. Of course, I have heard about it even since I was a child. Furthermore, I have always corrected my students' practice mistakes that are against the principle of sinking the shoulder and drop the elbow or Chui Jian Zhui Rou. Now, here's what the community in general needs to understand. Merely knowing a proverb is not sufficient. You should also be able to differentiate between a proverb and the timing of application of a proverb. We should not limit and restrict our practice by assuming a mechanical interpretation of a proverb since a specific proverb is used for a specific situation in practice. In contrast, general proverbs provide general guiding principles for practice. The proverb that I'm introducing today is used in dynamic situations but still follows the general principle of Chui Jian Zhui Zhou, which describes the overall state of martial energy. Now, let me explain the proverb a bit further. The question becomes, how to get the result of Jian Zhou Kai Zhang or the shoulders and the elbows should be opened and extended in the process of Kaixiong or extending the chest. There are two aspects that I'd like to point out here. First, the chest should extend outward, and the elbows should lead the extending motion by pulling the shoulders. It's just like this. The other words, chest pushes, elbow extend, and elbows pull the shoulders. So, to practice a complete and thorough chest extending movement, those three sub-movements, including elbow, shoulder, and the chest, should be done simultaneously. And this is the key point here. By the way, I recommend you check out my video titled Decoding Martial Proverb 11, Guarding Posture, Zhou Bu Li Lei. The link is in the description. Again, let's review the proverb together. To extend the chest, both shoulders and elbows must extend outward, or else 
the upper body would not be in a fully chest opening state. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please post your questions about this proverb in the comment section. I will answer them for you in the first part of a next week's video. I hope you will enjoy this new series. Thanks for watching, see you next time, and enjoy your practice.